Hey everybody, welcome to What About The Game. Today I'm going to be talking about Vaccine on the Wii U eShop. Resident Evil, a staple of the 90s PlayStation gamer. It was a great time to be a survival horror fan, a genre that rose, peaked, and diminished within just half a decade. But it made its mark on the gaming landscape forever. There's certainly a lot of nostalgia surrounding it, so much so that people often crave for the glory days once again. To capitalise on that desire is Rainy Night Creations with Vaccine, a game that couldn't be more tonally different from their last release, the bright, colourful, cartoon-like Freeze Me. Vaccine wears its heart on its sleeve. There's no doubt as to which series inspired it. Some may point towards Alone in the Dark, but at its core it's the original mansion investigating Resident Evil that it aspires to imitate. Compared to the games it's paying homage to, the actual gameplay type is a very different beast, however. It actually has more of an arcadey experience to it. You choose between one of two characters at the start, a man or a woman. While they have names, different stats and a short bio, they are actually rather characterless sadly. Depending on which one you choose, the other one becomes the one you need to save. After choosing a character, the game loads up to you in a room, with your partner convulsing on a nearby bed. Without much time to think about what you should do, a rather panicking countdown begins. With a knife on the floor and a brief note on the desk, you set out to find a cure. What sets Vaccine apart is that the environments are randomly generated. It's a game designed to be played over and over again. Every time you venture out, rooms, corridors, item placements, and even the end goals are in different places. An intriguing concept. Randomly generated environments are intermittently filled with your standard horror enemies, the majority of which are shambling zombies. There are also bats and sneaky rats who hide under furniture. While these are fairly easy to deal with, there's one enemy that is a complete run destroyer. I decided to name them Crawlers for obvious reasons. They are incredibly strong and resistive to your offences. The first time you happen upon them, you will die. They are an incredible difficulty spike in an already fairly difficult game. Parts of the difficulty come with luck. If you're lucky, You'll at least be fine until you come across the crawlers. The randomly generated item placements play a big part in your chances of survival. Sometimes you'll pick up a handgun within a few rooms, sometimes you won't find one at all since enemies will gradually wear you down if you're just using the knife. Look based playthroughs probably won't rub well with many people, but I personally feel it really does make each time playing different. You will get frustrated though, I died time and time again. The crawlers got me every time without fail, even if I was lucky enough to find a handgun or a shotgun. I couldn't find the cure. Vaccine forces you to become more tactical with your items and the way you upgrade your character. Yes, Vaccine has a leveling up system, something not usually found in the genre. You gain experience points by attacking and defeating enemies, even opening doors grants you a little. With it, you can upgrade a few different stats such as resistance, aiming, luck and so on. I will say its implementation is a little on the clumsy side, there's no indication of when to level up and the crudely designed menus don't help either. Even finding the cursor location is a task in itself. Finding the vaccine and returning to your comrade does not mean the game is over. Instead, you get the same message as when you began. Despite your best efforts, your friend has been infected again. Time to find another vaccine although now with less time. Scattered around the corridors and dimly lit rooms are plenty of notes left behind for you to read. It's advised to actually read them, as they leave clues as to the real mystery behind Vaccine, because there is more to it than meets the eye. There's a secret that needs to be investigated. If you only keep finding the Vaccine, then it will keep repeating over and over. You won't get the true ending. I won't say how to complete the game as it's rewarding finding out for yourself. Along with the menu system, the game does have its own set of flaws that can't be pinned on the genre. Picking up items is way too finicky. You need to be at the precise point in order for the game to register you're picking something up, not something that should go hand in hand with the game with tank controls. Also, with the environments being randomly generated each time, you'll often see the same rooms over and over again. There is plenty of variety, but it's still not enough to stop the same ones cropping up time after time. There are even hilarious moments where you exit one room and enter another room which is exactly the same as the previous one. The game acknowledges this by giving your character a confused status. Nice touch. It completely nails the feeling of 90s horror games. 
Through its purposely blocky, grainy textured character models, the pre-rendered environments, music, and even the sound effects. Who'd have thought overly exaggerated footstep sounds could bring me back to my youth? Well, Vaccine did. Likewise, the often opinion-dividing tank controls and fixed camera angles are here in full force. Are they bad? Undeniably, yes, but that's what Vaccine is trying to do. Some people get along with them, while modern gamers will probably want to vomit at the thought of awkwardly turning and moving your character while getting disoriented by odd camera angle switches. It's a method from a different era, but it's difficult to mark it down as a negative even though some will undoubtedly hate it. Vaccine is a commendable homage to survival horror of the 90s. As a cheap Wii U eShop download, it obviously doesn't come close to matching the glory days of the original Resident Evil trilogy, nor does it need to. It will probably satisfy those nostalgia seekers, but will put off casual gamers, not only due to the classic playstyle, but also as a result of new flaws it brings to the table. I did enjoy playing Vaccine, and its unique take on the end goal. My first few tries playing it gave me a bit of a head scratching and a touch of frustration, but once you tactically build up your character and learn the tricks, you can give yourself a good chance even if luck is still heavily involved. The more I played it and learned it, the more I need to recommend it to you. Just give yourself a bit of time to play it smartly. Okay guys, if you've enjoyed this video, then be sure to like and subscribe, that will really help me out. You can read the full review of Vaccine at whataboutthegame.com, and you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you want to. All the links are below. Thanks guys, bye bye.